You know that feeling you get when you're standing in a hot place? Sudden urge to jump? I don't have it. Welcome back to the Mini Berto Show. My name is Alberto and I am your host for today. For those of you that have not seen our previous videos and are looking for them, you can click the link into our playlist in the description. Last week we reviewed the movie Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. In this episode we will be reviewing the new Pirates movie, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Todd. If you haven't seen the movie before, I recommend that you watch it prior to watching this review. If you don't have the movie at home, you can always watch it on Netflix or rent it at your local movie store. Or if you want, you can always buy it too. It's up to you! By watching the movie in advance makes the whole review more entertaining and a lot easier to understand. However, if you've watched the movie already and you are ready for the review, then I guess I should get right to the review as soon as possible. Alright, here we go! Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides has Captain Jack Sparrow, played by Johnny Depp, and Barbosa, played by Jeffrey Rush, embarking on a quest to find the elusive fountain of youth, only to discover that Blackbeard, played by Ian McShane, and his daughter Angelica, played by Penelope Cruz, are after it too. Oh yeah, and the Spanish. Some of the characters that do not return to the foreign pirates from the first three are Cutler Beckett, played by Tom Hollander, the very technical Davy Jones, played by Bill Nye, and the couple Will and Elizabeth Turner, played by Orlando Bloom, and Kira Knightley. In my opinion, this movie felt way more religious than the other three. Yes, Barbosa did conduct a wedding ceremony in World's End, and in Dead Man's Chest, Beckett did interrupt the wedding. However, there just happens to be a clergyman. See, I told you that it was religious. Think about it. Towns and views, it's supposed to give you more years to your life, perhaps for an eternity. Eternal life? Sounds religious to me. However, one of the best highlights of this movie has to be the mermaids. No, it's not because they are pretty much naked, but it's because they are vicious and ferocious, and I like that in women. Anyway, thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to our videos. On Friday, we will be delivering the news that's happening all over the universe. If you haven't watched last Monday's question and answers episode, you can click the annotation featured in the outro. You can also seek out our other channels in the outro as well. If you have a Facebook and a Ray Twitter, follow and like us by using the links provided in the description. If you have a suggestion for a movie or anything at all, really, that you would like me to review, then do not hesitate to let me know. That's pretty much it for today's review episode. I am your host, Alberto, and thank you for watching.